where, where were you before working with me? Can you just kind of quickly describe like where you were mentally, physically, emotionally? Completely stressed out. Um, physically, my body wouldn't tolerate hardly anything. I would go, um, when I had good days, I would always go really, really hard in the gym because I'd think, right, okay, I'm feeling good today. So therefore I need to make up for all the, all the crappy days that I've had and haven't been. And I do that for like two, possibly three days in a row. Mm -hmm. But it, it, if I got to three days in a row, that would, that would be the exception. And then I would just be bleh, for the rest of the week. Um, my stress levels are just so, so high before all of this. Um, cause obviously I've got autistic child, my husband's on the spectrum as well. And the other one is, you know, like the Duracell bunny. He's just constantly going cause he's a nine year old boy. That's what they do. Um, mm -hmm. and it's just constant. It was just, everything was constant. I never had a minute to myself. I never mm -hmm. even thought about trying to give myself a minute either. And I thought that if I had, I had to keep going because if I stopped, everything stops. Right. Um, and yeah, my, my body is just a wreck, absolute yeah. wreck, Didn't tolerate very much at all. So, you know, I would try and go running and that didn't really work very well. <laughs> yeah. I enjoyed it, but I would always be dead completely afterwards. Yeah. And like I said, and then I, I broke my ankle on one of them. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay and where like what were you skeptical of when you first started like what you know what what kind of held you back from taking action sooner honestly I've been told for years and years and years by my doctors that all of my conditions are stress-based and that mm. I need to get all my stress levels down but mm. I couldn't honestly see how just lowering my stress levels and not controlling everything everything that had to be controlled mm -hmm. because obviously I was in charge of everything and in charge of everyone um mm -hmm. and honestly I didn't think I was worth it I didn't think I was worth you mm -hmm. know giving because like I say I mean you do so much to help and it is a lot of money to fork over, for, especially for someone like us, because we don't have a hell of a lot. And I just thought, you know what? I'm not worth spending mm -hmm. that amount of money on. I'm not worth doing any of that because it's never going to work. My body's just going to break because like so many diets and so many actions and things like that before, mm -hmm. you just think there's absolutely no point because nothing's worked before. So why is anything else going to work? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah it's good and what was your what's been your biggest ba breakthrough so far I think just not oh it's making me a bit teary already but it's just I said at the beginning of this I so I just didn't want to be at war with myself anymore I've hated myself since as long as I can remember and I'm kind of finally I do get frustrated when my body doesn't kind of work how I want it to sometimes mm -hmm. but I'll kind of dial back in and think actually no it's because it's crying out for a rest it's yeah. crying out for this crying out for that and I've learned to listen to my body and stop fighting it all the time and it's just nice to not be at war with myself Mm -hmm. I've never felt that before and that is a huge huge mm. thing huge thing what's and the emotion been, there just happiness and relief I think as well and just a, a huge sense of peace mm -hmm. I've never felt as peaceful and calm and I can cope with things so much better now than I could before mm -hmm. things things don't seem as I don't know they don't seem as much of a thing you still get the same crap that hits you over and over again mm -hmm. that's not going to change but how you deal with it like you say how you deal with it is is what changes and I can just 
I can approach things in a different way. And it's got to that point because I've been doing the inner training with you for so long now Mm -hmm. that things kind of hit me and it's, there's hardly at all where I need to even go, okay, I need a minute. I can just go, right. Okay. Well that's happened now. Mm -hmm. Right. How can we, how can we sort this out then? And it's just, Mm -hmm. there's, it's that, you know, when you get that pit in your stomach, I mm. always used to have that there and it was always like, oh crap. Okay. There's another thing to deal with. There's another thing to deal with. And now it's just, okay, fair enough. Bring it on. Let's just sort something else, you know? And it's not, nothing's an issue anymore. If you know what I mean? Yeah. Life, life in general just used to be this hard, hard issue. And it's yeah. not I'm actually enjoying my life for the yeah. first time ever I think Good. and it's something that I can pass on to my children as well they've noticed the difference yeah. in you know yeah I'm a nicer person to be around now I'm not as stressed out yeah you know yeah it's just improved relationships with everyone all the way around so yeah. beautiful well this is just the beginning girl it 